Hi everybody, welcome back to Kona. Here we are, we made it to the general store last time, and we've got a murder mystery on our hands, that's right. Hamilton here is dead. Somebody killed him. Who knows who killed him? We're gonna figure it out. First, we're gonna get some food. This place is a mess. Okay, that the, in the inspection was, this place is a mess. Okay, what's on here? Take out a camera. Okay, he had a camera on him. We've got some film. Let's take a picture of him. Okay, we took a picture of his dead ass body. Nice, let's keep this picture. Um, what else? Do we want to take a picture of like the crime scene? I don't feel like we're an actual crime scene investigator, but... Okay, let's keep this one too. That, that looks like a nice one. I'm sure the authorities will be pleased for that one. Okay, now let's put away our camera. Or do we not put away the camera? How do we put how do we put away the camera? Okay, perfect. We put it No, I didn't want that. Investigation, a case of vandalism, the crash, Hamilton's murder. Okay, we have to find some stuff on him possibly. Okay, let's put the camera away for Christ's sake. That would be good. Okay, not the map. We don't want the map. We don't want the camera either. What's this now? A flashlight. Fine, fair enough. Okay, let's inspect him Carl now. felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Good point, game. Who? What's this? A torn what envelope. Be inside that envelope. Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was Mr. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. No way. Mr. John Vaughn. Montreal. Oh, look at that one. Ottawa. Ontario. That's where I'm from. Centre de Direction de Information. 1305 25 East Rue Ottawa 165 Ontario. Okay. Sure. Got it. Okay. Now let's see. What does this say? This place is a mess again. Okay. Perfect. Can we... Can we turn off this radio? It's too much. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Oh. Crap. Okay, well, we... That's that, then. An explosion suddenly occurred outside? Hello? Hello? Why did something explode out here? Maybe we can take something from here. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. Oh. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay, let's the take... milkman had to drive no. by every week to fill the bottles. Oh, look at the that. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Les frais pasteurisés. Nice. That means uh, fresh pasteurized milk, just in case you're not French and you need a translation. I will be your translator. Okay, it's cold out here. Looks like we have an outhouse here that might be... It's unlocked. Who is pooping in here? I can't quite see. Let's look around back. Sometimes there's little... No, okay, there's no little hole out back. Okay, that's pretty gross, actually. I mean, it's very rural if Hamilton is out here pooping in there. Oh, what's all this? Some ice? Looks like there's, like, some... What is this? Wow! Ah! his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait. Fudge. Was it about bears? Oh my god. Carl was used to strange phenomena. Okay, well this a is... a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, take a picture, fuck. Does that look good to you or what? Okay, it looks like there's some, like, prints on it as well. Look. Prints? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was oh. the camera faulty or was it a possible lead? I don't know. It's... The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and okay. faithful ally. I guess it wants me to take a picture of that. red-handed genie. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Okay, looks like somebody cut the generator. We're gonna need some tape, which I don't have. Okay, let's go in here. Who is in here and cutting the generator, for Christ's sake? Somebody was just here and they cut it. Oh, for Christ's sake. We got a, a fuse box here as well. Okay, let's... 
switch. There's a garage here as well. Okay, let's switch this stuff off no, for now. Explain that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay, interesting. In, that's an interesting thing to, to note. Okay, what's on here now? A secretary wouldn't be luxury in here. Okay, there's a flyer here as well. This is the Quebec's Klondike, the Manistan. Is this the same flyer? Yeah, it is. It's the same weird-ass flyer that we read last time. Okay, let's not read it again because we don't want to be too weirded out. The general store... What the fuck? Did somebody just close that fucking door? Oh my god. Okay. Let's use a flashlight. Okay. What does this say now? A general store also serves as a post office for locals. Okay, good to know. Why did this door just fucking close, though? Maybe the wind caught it? Okay, there's a garage. Is the generator full? It must be, right? Okay, we can put the flashlight away, I think. Okay, there's no power in the garage now, either. But there is this thing out here if we want to warm up a little bit. Because we're getting a little bit cold, I think. Okay, let's go in here. I don't think this is meant to be... A okay, we need a key for the garage. I don't think we can open it from here either. Alright, interesting. Uh, we've left our car running hilariously as well. Like, I don't know what the purpose of that was, but anyway, it's it's been done. The damage has been done. Can I just, like... We're gonna have to find this key for the garage. It's gotta be here somewhere, but maybe somebody stole it, whoever cut the power. Man, I guess they must really hate this guy. Okay, let's press this button here. This one. This one. And this one. Sale. Wow. We're rich. But also, the key. Okay, we got a post key. We got pump one. We can turn it on. But there's no power. Okay. There's a note here. You know what, Hamilton? Well, that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. Oh. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. Right. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Gosh. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come fill in for me? I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Gilles. Okay. Our first suspect. It's Gilles. Let's pick up the phone. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Right, okay. We're on the we're on the lookout for Gilles, who might have murdered Hamilton. Anything in these drawers? There we go. Some tape. Some more matches, good. What's this? Customer credit. According to that log. It seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Looks Carl like it. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Right. Okay. Nice. We can read this thing. So we can see that Louise Blaise, Wilfred Roy, uh, Région Bloin, Saul Marcoux, Rosser Armand, J.J. Lamoth, Chris... Chris Lane Puyo and Sylvie Bedard, they all owe this guy money. Unbelievable. Okay, that's a lot of people owing money. Okay, what's in here? Some more keys? That's the garage key this time. So we got the post key and the garage key from these drawers. Okay, there's one last drawer here, but it seems to be empty. Some cigarettes there, that's good. There's some supplies here. For there's a light switch here. Of course, not working. Uh, and there's a clock, a broken clock. How convenient. We don't even know what freaking time it is. Let's turn this thing off before it comes back on again because the music was awful. Oh, nice. Okay, we can move this over here so that we could potentially get up. Are we climbing? No, we're too cold. Oh, my God. It's the creepy climbing. Oh, okay, let's get this. We got some sherry wine. Oh, nice. We don't have to take our clothes off. To have a good time in Kona. We can dance and party all night. 
and drink this sherry wine before we die of exposure. Ho, ho. Oh my goodness. I'm cold. Dude, <laughs> what a remix. It's that, that's one for the, that's, that's one for the fucking records, isn't it? Amazing. Okay, we're inside the garage now. It's, it's spooky to say the least. It's very dark in here. There might be a wolf hiding behind the car. So let's just get that out of the way with first. Okay, no, there's nothing in here. The door has closed behind me as well. All right, what do we have to do here? We're going to have to pick up some stuff. It looks like there's the cleanest spot in the area. A lot of cleaning products here. A lot of spare parts for cars. There's a saw here. There's a, radio, a desk filled with screwdrivers, wrenches, odds and ends. There we go. We can fix the generator now. What's this? Hardwire. Hardware, sorry. And a lot of milk. It looks like they... It doubles as like a storage area as well. Okay. I don't think there's anything in the actual car. Uh, we can my summer car this for sure though. Like if we could get this thing running. That would be sweet. Imagine that was like a sub game in this game. Getting the car to run again. That'd be hilarious. What's all this? At least we know it's fragile. Oh, it is, looks very fragile actually. Okay. Good. Oh wait. What's this? The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Okay. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Yet, but soon. Once we restore power to this area, uh, the garage, I mean, holy crap. Look at how, look at this weather is truly terrible. Okay. Going in through the front uh, for no real reason. Oh, look at this. We can actually open up the mailbox. We can Something unlock. fell to the bottom of the box. Oh, it's a gun. The murder weapon. And what? what was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. <gasps> Shame it's, he got unlucky. It's the key for the little box! Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Wow. Clever, but not enough. Okay. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. True. Okay, letter from Hamilton. It is a citizen of Her Majesty in the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my it country. So cold. I believe Already the free Carl world is in grave danger. Anymore. Oh, a member of my community, the Honorable, and now, boom, he's dead. Okay. Okay, so he's he's dead. What's can we actually open this up? Oh, we can we can put stuff in and withdraw. Okay, so we are gonna be using the truck. Good. This is good. This is good to know. Anything changing here? A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Oh my god, that guy just sounded so fucking Canadian then. Holy shit. A radiator without logs is like a wood stove without whatever he said. Oh. Okay, out back here we go. So somebody snipped this. Somebody's been around. We've repaired the generator. We're turning on the generator. Okay, the generator's back on. And none too soon, because we're currently just dying of exposure here, okay. The door will close, okay. Now, let's get some power on in the magasin, or the store. It's on. Okay, the electricity's turned off. It's on. Okay, perfect. Now we can look at these paintings. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Nice. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. Yeah, maybe. I mean... You know, it could be. What's this? Cash register instructions. To open the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. Well, we didn't have that problem, did we? We brute forced our way through it. What's all this crap? A secretary wouldn't be a luxury in here? Okay, there's a, what's, there's like a tape recorder here though. Interesting, we can't actually play the tape recorder. Okay, the postal boxes. What's this? A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store. Nice. Seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time. <gasps> from an era long forgotten. 
here we go. Fire starters. We're going to need these things where we're going, I think. Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. Oh. With men like this in the area, wolves would become extinct within 10 years, Carl thought. Well, there was that one that just, like, ran by us outside, scared the pejeebus out of me. Jesus, that was terrible. Like, I wasn't expecting jump scares in this game, but there we go. Mysterious. Unbranded cans. Oh, shit, maybe it's wolf meat. Maybe it's filled with wolf meat. Okay, first things first. We have got to switch this off. Thank Christ. Oh, my God. Okay, pump number one or pump number two? Pump number two. Okay, it's on. Pump number two is on. Let's fill up with some gas. Oh, well, let's go get that crowbar as well. We're going to need to go get the crowbar, I think. So we're going to have to switch over the power. Uh, from Switch that off and switch the garage on. Okay. We're going to need this crowbar. I'm, I can sense it. Maybe we have to use the crowbar to smash this ice up. Because there's something frozen under there. We also now have a gun, which is pretty good news. Just in case we see another wolf or whatever and we have to shoot its ass. Okay, where's the light switch in here, though? Like, where the hell is the lights? Okay, so there is power in here now. Because uh, that's plugged in. How the hell are we going to lift this up? We have to be able to lift it up, right? Um, where There's a wire here goes up here around aha gotcha all right car lifted now we now have a crowbar at long last the crowbar was within carl's grasp okay perfect Surely it would come in handy at some point hell yeah we're gonna smash that ice with this crowbar or maybe take on a wolf what's in the trash nothing it turns out boom <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's smash up this ice and see if there's something in here. I'm pretty sure we can smash up the ice, right? No? It almost worked. Smashing? Smashing ice. No. Maybe we have to melt the ice? It says take out camera, which I've done already. So I guess that's that done. What else would we need a crowbar for? I guess we just need to take it with us generally. Because you never know, right? Okay, are we done inside the store? Do we gas up? I think we gas up. Okay, it's this one. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Which one's pump number two? It must be this one, right? Okay. Megamar. That sounds familiar. Megamar. Okay, so we have to do this pump. So we switch. Oh, you know why? It's because of the power for the garage, of course. Okay, let me just switch it back on. Just the trip. Uh, we just needed the crowbar. Is anyone in here now? Man, it's so fucking creepy in here. Holy shit. All right, let's switch over to the store now. Uh, we'll switch this one off just in case. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that, we know. Okay, I think we've gotten everything that we need from here. We've taken a picture for the authorities of the dead body as well. Now let's fill up the truck. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. Oh, it's the In wrong one. Good, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Their divine nectar. Come on, pumps. Give me your divine nectar straight away. Oh no, it's because the pump isn't actually... Okay, so we want pump number two. Okay, pump number two is now switched on. Of course, it didn't switch itself back on automatically when the lights went on, sadly. So now we have to just run out here once again to get the divine nectar from the pumps. Okay. Pumping is a go. What a place for a gas cap. Holy crap. Look at that. They don't make them like that anymore. And it's just as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, we should be able to drive now. I think we've done everything. Nice. We have done. Okay. It's a murder. It's a murder mystery. Where to now? Oh. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Where? Any good investigation would have to start there. Okay. Carl was beginning to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his head. Really? The seeker had sought. Okay. We have the Chemin de l'Entrelac. And then what is that? The village... What does that say? The village killer. Okay. 
great. Let's go see the village killer then. Nice. Up we go. We're going up this way. We don't want to go on to near the lake right now for some reason. Like, I think we want to go up here. We have to find Gilles Lachance. He's got to be... There's got to be people out here, right? I mean, this place isn't abandoned. There has been... It's a snowstorm and there has been a murdered Lierder. But who knows? Oh. The game has to lo load and think about it. We have to watch out for snowmobiles. There's another crashed car here. Unfrickin' believable. Holy shit. Okay. Well, listen. We've done a lot today. We'll be back next time for some more of Kona. It's interesting. It's really starting to shape up, actually. We'll do an investigation of this crashed car and see if we can't find Gilles Lachance and find out, you know, what the heck is going on. Sorry, I burped there a little bit while I was talking. I, I don't know why. I guess I'm just getting old now and I burp, like, when I don't even want to or whatever. Uh, but anyway, we'll be back next time. We'll check out, see if we can find out Gilles Lachance, see why he potentially murdered Hamilton. Maybe it wasn't him, but he seemed to have motive to do it anyway. Well, it's a proper murder investigation, and I'm loving it so far. This is really good. All right, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time! <laughs>